Still no reply. Did you leave a message? Again, yes. Well, it's up to him then, isn't it, whether he wants to talk to you or not. As I recall, this woman that's died... Lucy. She wanted nothing to do with Peter when he were alive. She didn't, no. Which is hardly surprising. All I'm saying, he might not be as upset as you think. What, he might be pleased she's died? He might be thinking good riddance. Although they might have been in contact, we don't know. Yeah, but whether they were or not, this is the woman he married and who had his child. He can't be indifferent to what's happened to her. So why is he not talking to you? Because he knows what you'll be thinking and he doesn't want to have to tell you how wrong you are. Here we are at last. You OK? Tired. You tired? Yeah, me too, mate. It's been a long journey. Come on. Oh. Right. Let's go and give Grandma and Grandad the shock of their lives, shall we? Who is it? Miss Peter, I think. Yes! Hello! Yes, me again, I'm afraid. Oh, don't be silly. It's lovely to see you. It certainly is. And you. <laughs> hey, Blanche. No. <laughs> OK, then, let's, uh, we'll do the introduction, shall we? This is Ken, this is Deirdre, and this is Blanche. This is Simon, sir, uh, Lucy's son. Hello, Simon. Then what's he doing with you? Oh, whatever it is, he's very welcome. Of course he is. No, it's, uh, it's a good question. Yeah, but he doesn't need answering now. Come on, sit down. Oh, come on. Oh, big lad. So, have you just come up from Portsmouth? Uh, this morning, yeah. And has he had anything to eat? Uh, some crisps. Oh. Is that all? Bet you're starving, aren't you? <laughs> so I hadn't heard anything from her in five years, and then she rings me. Of course, I think she's still in Australia. Well, yeah. No, nope. turns out she's been back in this country for a while, and now she's ringing me, telling me that she's dying. She's dying, and will I go and see her? Well, what can you say? So you went? Yeah, and that's when she tells me she wants me to have the lad. Because he's mine, she's not going to be around anymore. And she thinks that I should have him. Well, you can see her point of view. Yeah, well, you can't argue with a dying person, can you? So I said, OK. How much do you think Simon understands? I don't know. He didn't really say very much. Anyway, I took him back to Portsmouth yesterday, but, um... I don't know, it just seemed a bit weird, just me and him. Yeah, sure. So I thought, hey, I need some support here, you know. And I don't mean this to sound, but you were all I could think of. I'm glad we were. Thanks. It's only for a day or two, just until everything settles down a bit, you know. Yeah. OK. Uh, say night-night. Night-night, darling. Nice. Night, Simon. Nice. Nice. Let's go and check this new bed out, then, shall we? Hmm? Well. She's lumbered him there. Mother! Or, to put it another way, she's given him the greatest gift possible. A son. Now, I think Lucy, bless her, has done a wonderful thing. Yes, I do. Although it is going to be a big change for Peter. Yeah, well, maybe that's no bad thing. He's a lovely little lad. Yeah. Our grandson. Anyway, I said I'd take Peter next door for a drink. Oh, I'll come with you. No, you won't. I've had enough of your opinions for one day, and I'm sure that Peter doesn't want to hear them either. You're babysitting with me. One egg. Hey, Dad. And what would you like? No, I'll get these uh, large scotch, please, and what, a half? Half, please, yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. You're just visiting then, or what? Yeah, just visiting, yeah. Look, I know it must have been a desperately sad business, but uh, I do think Lucy's done the right thing, both by you and Simon. Poor kid. He doesn't know what's hit him. Well, yeah, no. I don't even think he knows who I am. Yeah, he knows I'm his dad, but what's that supposed to mean? I've not seen him for five years. You know, he must feel like he's just been handed over to a complete stranger. There, yeah, I'll stick another one in there, look. Large one? Yeah. So you think this is all good, do you? You've been given a son. Do you know what I think? I think this is Lucy getting her own back on oh. me. Landing me with a kid to bring up when I don't even know I'm going to get through next week. 
you know, because the business is a right mess. I'm a right mess. So this on top of everything else, come on. No, no. I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. I can't. Be 60, please. Hey, do you want a five-year-old to bring up? Huh? Hmm? Do you, do you want a five-year-old to bring up? Only, uh, I've got one to give away. Peter. No, no, I'm being Come. serious. I don't want my own son, OK? So anybody who does want him, just shout up and you're very welcome to him. <laughs>